Hello guys, what is up? It's Teach here coming at you again with another video over on Ark Survival Ascended. We are over on Scorched Earth and the new creature, the Fazla Succus, is behind us. I've got a leveled one, an unleveled one, and I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about their abilities and really what they're good for because they're kind of a really unique creature. Um, they have some some special things to tame them. It's an absolute pain in the butt. And uh, they've got uh, a really cool ability that a lot of people don't realize they have. But I'll show you that real quick. If you don't mind, smash that like button. Leave a comment below for the algorithm. And then consider subbing to the channel. So, the Fazla Suckus, right? You can see that this is one right here. So, base stats on these guys are pretty solid. They can easily hit 20,000 health. 2.5k stamina is not a problem melee can easily get to a thousand without much of a problem and their weight's really strong they have one they're not really good at harvesting much outside of flint but overall it's a good good creature it's a large to mid-sized creature and uh, they have the ability to swim in the sand and every time they hit rocks like you see me doing right here they actually harvest the rocks immediately giving them a ridiculous ridiculous amount of flint now i am gonna like i've only hit a few rocks right but at around i don't know it depends if you're hitting like in scorch earth you can get a few i don't know probably hundred thousand flint in in no time at all it's kind of crazy like i'm not even really doing much at all and i've almost got a thousand so they're really quick at swimming underneath the actual area now there's a few moves that they have that are pretty unique right so they have the ability to get under the sand which is neat and uh, that's a really beneficial thing obviously they've got a generic bite and you can see that that's the bite right there the first one takes a lot longer and then they've got a repetitive one like that just just so you can see that they have a secondary and that's it's called a debris whip and that debris whip will kind of like shotgun blast a whole bunch of stuff nearby at creatures and apply some debuffs to the creatures as well as the shotgun blast and then the bite itself you can see the like the acid dropping from its mouth the phasla succus actually when it bites reduces armor or gets rid of armor so if you're fighting something that's a much larger creature like a t-rex or a giganotosaurus and it doesn't have armor good luck because this thing is an absolute monster when it comes to actually shredding creatures um so what'll happen is it'll actually walk up to any creature i'm gonna go up to the paraceratherium i'm gonna go ahead and go off of gcm mode so you can see this is just a primitive saddle go ahead and drop everything in my inventory then we're just gonna walk up to this paraceratherium now as you can see it's got a cool ability to do that like jump attack right there now that jump attack gives us a really cool feature because it kind of gives you like a shock attack, shock and awe if you want to think of it that way. And the larger the creature, the better the Fazla Succus seems to do. I do not know why, right? That's just what it is. Um, it will one tap just about anything. Uh, it's kind of crazy at about almost, I mean, this is a wild unimprinted one, by the way. We want about a thousand damage a bite. Yes, the damage is kind of high, um, but uh, Giganotosauruses get like one to 2,000 after a few breeding generations. Phaselosuchus might be a new meta just because they're able to move insanely quick, like you can see me doing right now. And they off put a crazy amount of damage. Plus the absolute armor shred is something that's gonna make them incredibly powerful for PVP. You can see the speed in which they move is also really nice being able to break things and then check this out. So there's that bite, and you can see armor reducing acid. So when they're fighting something, it's actually taking that debuff right there, which is a huge advantage. Now, go ahead and spray that thing with some of that too. You can see that it's also blinded for another three seconds. So this thing blinds, it takes off armor. It's absolutely insane. This thing is crazy powerful. Plus, its raw speed and very, very high stamina pool gives it ability to escape from things at a kind of ridiculous rate, in my opinion. I do not know how it'll work because nothing seems to aggro to me when I'm on the back of it, so it's not like I'm separated from it. You probably can get picked off of it, but I mean, as long as you're moving, I don't know how anything's going to catch you, in all honesty. Plus, let's say you add in a mate boost or something like that. These things are going to be absolute monsters because they have the ability to breed. These three are unfortunately all female, so I can't show you the mate boost, uh, but they're really cool. So they have the primary, the secondary, which is going to produce you with that cool little ability right there. The ability to swim on the ground and the ability to get that flint. Now, 
meat wise it gains a little bit um it does eat meat as its primary so that's just uh something you should pay attention to and as it goes under the ground obviously the harvesting of this is pretty useful now i don't think it's necessarily something that i'd be like oh its speed makes it better to use than a flyer no but i will say that its ability to stay under the ground meaning that nothing can see you is a really powerful thing plus that ability to kind of jump up like that is a really really strong thing i'll go ahead and show you what it looks like again because that initial boost 848 that's a lot of damage i don't know how much you played but that's a crazy crazy amount of damage plus that little shotgun blast of blinding things is a huge powerful thing if someone's if, especially in pvp these things are going to be absolute destroyers of worlds um they they apply damage universally it seems so like anything that has a uh, innate armor buff to it like those scorpions don't actually get that innate armor buff so that's pretty cool and it seems like he's just completely under the ground because he like doesn't do damage but just flies underneath things and if you hop off just so you can see I'll show you what it looks like when i get near these guys he is under the ground i'll stay there now i can't actually see him right so that's one thing that's interesting so he kind of does a burrowing effect and I don't know if that's visible to other players or not yet because I haven't played on a PvP server, but they can bury themselves kind of similar to a Basilisk and things along those lines. Now, in order to get them out, you would need to drop a C4 on them, but they are really cool. So anyways, hopefully this video helps you out. If you don't mind, smash that like button, hit a comment below for the algorithm, and then consider subbing the channel. All right, teach.